We have been fluoridating our water in Tennessee for more than 50 years, but never before has there been more talk than that fluoridating our water might be a bad idea and a health risk. Tonight, Dennis Ferrier has the latest developments on a story that impacts all of us. Joey Hensley is a respected physician. He's also a Tennessee state lawmaker. He is now combining those two professions to make a very strong point. We've been doing it 50 years, uh, but just because we've been doing something 50 years doesn't necessarily mean that it's right. Hensley's talking about something most of us don't even think about, fluoridating water. After much research, the doctor has sent out a letter to every water district in Tennessee asking them to stop fluoridating water. The evidence, he says, fluoride works better when you rub it on your teeth, not when you drink it. That fluoridation is medication added to water without your permission, and that's wrong. But most of all, because the National Research Council believes young children are getting three to four times the dose of fluoride as adults. And now the American Dental Association is telling mothers not to make baby formula with fluoridated water because of fear of dental fluorosis. And that's big news, and that really hasn't been uh, uh, publicized very much. Health researcher Dan Stockin believes that this ADA warning about baby formula and fluoride is just the beginning. This, the ramifications of this are so huge, I'm sure that the state health department hasn't quite figured it out yet. Because, see, once the door cracks, and it is now for what it does to teeth, the next group, one of the next groups that's going to start raising their hands and saying, what about us? is people who are on dialysis and people who have borderline kidney damage and impairment. Then there's all the people that have hypothyroidism. Scientists like Nobel Prize winner Arvid Carlson and a large group of EPA scientists have called for the banning of fluoride because we don't know how much we're ingesting, so we don't know if we're being poisoned. There are so many potential legal things about to happen that as a taxpayer, I think it would be really, really smart for the water districts and the metro Nashville. Look, just if people want fluoride, let them use fluoridated toothpaste and spit it out. But don't go poisoning everyone. Don't be, don't continue this after everyone knows all this information now, just because it's not convenient. Uh, Dr. Hensley has already had one response. Spring City in Ray County is going to stop fluoridating its water. And it is that simple. I mean, there's no law. It's all voluntary, Dan, so anyone can turn on the fluoride or turn it off. Dennis, let's make sure we're clear on this. Fluoride, it is in tea, it's in coffee, it's in water, it's in bread, it's in toothpaste, but it's actually a poison, right? It's, it sure is, and here's the, the quickest evidence. Go to your uh, bathroom and pick up your uh, toothpaste, and you'll see a warning that if you, a child swallows more than a pea-sized amount of toothpaste, call poison control. Wow. Dennis Ferry.